I give Wes Anderson a 10 out of 10. Tarantino sucks. The main part of making a movie is writing. It's where do I start and how does so and so talk. Han Solo can't say anything without a script guide. I struggled with this very crucial step until I saw the work of Wes Anderson. All the films I've seen, most had shock and either had to be action or drama. But Anderson was different. His characters just said what was on their minds. His work always seemed so simple, so quirky. He told stories about everyday people in a very simple manner. A hotel manager, a sailor, a father, a fox. We're going to talk about this guy. I'd seen Fantastic Mr. Fox in third grade, but I was just rooting for the fox because he's beating up the old man. Yeah, the old man is evil, killing the animal. Yeah, they did it. A key element in screenwriting is not to make the characters say what they're thinking. Here's a question. If you stub your toe, you don't say, ooh, I am hurt. Ooh, I am sad. You say, oh! Jesus! And if their weasel co-worker gives them advice that they don't want to hear, they don't say, I understand what you're saying and your comments are valuable, but I'm going to ignore your advice. What? Wait a minute. That's right. These characters don't talk like humans. They talk like Wes Anderson. Anderson uses self-aware dialogue to get his point across faster. We know Mr. Fox is probably going to ignore this dumb weasel. So why banter? Instead, do this. Are you cussing with me? No, you cussing with me. Don't cuss and point. You're gonna cuss with somebody. You're not gonna cuss with, with me, me, you little cuss. With me. I look back fondly of the movies of my youth: Incredibles, Princess and the Frog, Transformers, Aladdin, Spider-Man. Although marketed at kids, these movies do paint a good picture of the majority of films we see here in the United States. We're either beating up bad guys or having a Disney princess tea party. In a Wes Anderson movie, you watch fathers, mothers, children, teachers, rats, moles, badgers. It's odd, but it never breaks the reality of that world. When you see an animated movie, you have to believe that these fake characters are real people. It's really admirable to know that this is Wes Anderson's first animated movie. I mean, there's so much concentration, so much detail in every little frame, and yet it doesn't dwell on it for too long. Simplistic on the surface. The majority of the cast is Oscar people, so it should be in good hands, which it is. Anderson's directing really shows though, giving us performances we've never seen from these people, from George Clooney, Meryl Streep, Willem Dafoe. These names don't distract from the movie. It always feels like a Wes Anderson movie and not some popcorn movie starring Don Cheadle. Wes Anderson is the director that stands out most for me. If you ever catch one on TV or that stupid shuffle but you know it's Wes Anderson the linear camera you know